the reason that I wrote the book is I felt that there were too many negative messages out there for women, and particularly for young women. I think recently there's just been a spate of articles and books telling women that it's impossible to have it all, that they can't possibly have a career and a family and a love life and do all of these things well, that you have to give up. And I disagree with that. Women should feel entitled to have it all. They should feel that they have every bit of a right to have a full plate for their lives as men do, because men don't believe that they can't have a family and a career and self-fulfillment. And so I wanted to encourage women to be positive and to look at the challenges and opportunities that they've got and want to embrace them and understand that, yeah, you may end up with a really busy, sometimes chaotic life, but that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That means that you're fully experiencing life. And I wanted them also to feel that they could enjoy these things and have these things, but they didn't have to drive themselves crazy with being totally perfect in all different areas of their life because nobody's perfect. And it doesn't mean that you should shrink away from having a full life because you think you can't be the perfect employee every day and you can't be the perfect mom every day, but you can be pretty damn good at all of those things and keep your boss happy, your kids happy, and your husband happy, and yourself happy, which is very important too. The biggest challenge is the juggling act. Trying to be in two places at once, trying to be a good mother, trying to be a good wife, trying to be a good employee, it isn't easy. And that's why I've written the book, The Joys of Much Too Much, because I've packed it full of tips and advice and life experience for myself and from other women who've been in this position Probably the biggest thing that women carry around with them is this guilt, this perfection guilt. And I think that one of the biggest challenges is to look at your life differently and look at all the great joys in it and look at the wonderful opportunities and look at how well you are doing and not drive yourself crazy with the perfection guilt and instead kind of look at the juggling that you're doing really as being a positive thing and it's really a symptom of the fact that you have a very full enriched life.